when they saw the puppets for the first time, it was a near hysteria of joy. People were squealing, uh, shrieking. There was so much happiness. Um, we still had a lot of work to do on the puppets, but the essentialness of the puppets was there, and, uh, and it was thrilling. Well, the Kazago is our special adaptation of a stagehand in Kabuki, um, which is called the Karuko, which is a person dressed in black. But we've ch adapted it slightly. Our, our, that's a, a sort of invisible person who's, who's visible on stage, but they'll wear a dark colored costume and a hood, and they can help with props and things. Um, so it's like they're invisible, but we see them. And so we, we adapted that there, because we're existing in a spirit world, um, that, that term actually means a wind spirit. So because we're working with air a lot in the show, um, the Kazegos are the wind spirits in the show. And they're part of the spirit world that's present in the show. So I've worked with the Jim Henson Creature Shop uh, several times in the United States, um, just because I'm ba based in the States and I admire them so much and I've been so lucky to work with them. So um, I, you know, built my prototypes that I needed to in the wacky way that I did during the pandemic and then was able to work with them in Los Angeles to really find the final designs. And Mervyn is a fantastic resource for me here in the UK. He has such a great sensibility. He has a real magnificent manner about to teach people and to pinpoint who has the right skills for both as performers and makers. I mean, I, I love the, the soot sprites. I love the, we use ostrich feathers for them. So it's also, those are also things that have inherent life in them. They have a, a quality into them that they move almost on their own. That's an example of how things r relate to air and fluidity within the show. The soot sprites are a good one, yeah. I mean, it was immensely satisfying. There's a huge sense of responsibility that I feel to these characters and to this, this sort of legacy of Totoro and to know that we have done a good job and that the, and that the, the puppets are appealing and beautiful and expressive. I, I, it made me feel good.